since we lost so uh, many lectures, uh, I feel uh, it is necessary to compensate it with a few uh, video lectures. So today I will uh, start uh, with a series. It can go a little bit in parallel with the main lectures, and uh, but today I have to uh, return maybe a little bit back because uh, we have uh, some people who did not attend uh, the last uh, lectures. So uh, it will not be uh, uh, loss of time, uh, I think, for everybody. So let me um, start with these topics. First of all, uh, space and one of view. So uh, I uh, introduce it as a good uh, thing, uh, mostly good notations. Consider the measure space x s mu measure space. And suppose we have a function f, a measurable function. measurable function f, and uh, suppose that uh, integral uh, f d mu, modul f d mu, is finite. Then we say that f in the space L1, uh, no, L1, uh, here we have to write all these uh, symbols x, s mu, where in which set uh, relative to which sigma algebra with which measure, but if uh, it is uh, evident, I don't like it, I don't write it. And uh, uh, norm F in the space H1 equals by definition integral modul F d mu over all F. Yeah, and uh, we have the following obvious things that uh, uh, norm f one more equal zero, uh, norm f one is zero if and only if uh, f equal zero almost everywhere. Yeah, so we have this. Uh, we have uh, next uh, norm uh, if you multiply f by constant c times f 1 equals modul c times norm f 1 and the last uh, is norm f plus g 1 uh, less or equal norm f1 plus norm g1. No, uh, all uh, these properties are obvious and the last property is very um, useful to prove different inequalities. Uh, so I will use uh, this uh, notion and this notation. Now, next is approximation in L1. Uh, approximation in L1 by uh, simple functions. So what is a simple function? Simple function is a function uh, taking uh, just a finite number of values. So simple function. Uh, 
S uh, is decompose X. Uh, decomposed into union of, uh, say, A I. Uh, I from one to N. Just finite number of uh, A I. Uh, union, I mean uh, this union. So they are uh, <coughs> not overlapping. Uh, a i in S, yes. Yeah, so uh, a measurable set, and um, f of x equals a i if x in the set a capital I. Now uh, the uh, uh, theorem. Uh, not hard is that uh, if f in L1 then for any epsilon there exists a simple function G such that norm F minus G one less than epsilon. Yeah, so we can approximate the function. Uh, previously, we approximated the function in uh, C. Yes, uh, uh, and uh, to this end, uh, we had. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, we did not, in fact, approximate the uh, losing theorem is about different thing. Uh, so uh, this is definition of approximation. One moment. Does it work very well? Uh, uh, just a moment, I'll take another eraser. from the definition of integral, the back integral, uh, uh, which uh, defines uh, uh, this space. Consider the partition of, say, y-axis into finite number of, uh, 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 of sets. Yes? Uh, so consider the uh, points, uh, say, a minus a n uh, less than a minus n plus 1 less and so on less a n less than infinity so we have uh, this uh, uh, so more than minus infinity uh, we have uh, simply 2 n minus 1 uh, points uh, or uh, uh, numbers and uh, uh, let us uh, given F measurable function uh, let us uh, define uh, G of X equals a I if uh, a I less or equal than F X less than a I Plus one. No, it is uh, in case uh, uh, if we are uh, in between, uh, we have a i, a i plus one. So if here we have a n, uh, uh, then uh, 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 g of x uh, equals a n if uh, 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 g of x equal a n if f of x more equal a n yeah 
So it is approximation from below. And uh, similarly, here uh, a a minus n uh, g of x equals a minus n. Uh, no, uh, no, we can uh, do if uh, just a minute. If we are here, uh, so here it is a minus n, and here no. Okay. If you go uh, uh, outside, uh, it is equal zero. And this is equal zero. Uh, if uh, f of x uh, less than uh, a minus. No, uh, we, we take uh, uh, a uh, uh, i equals, let's say, uh, i divided by n from uh, i divided uh, uh, by n, yeah, and i goes from minus n to plus n. So uh, we simply cut off the uh, function, uh, no, disregard its um, values uh, where they are too large or uh, uh, in the modulus, yes, and uh, integral. Uh, so. Uh, a i equals a set of x such that f x in um, uh, a i a i plus one. Uh, this is and uh, uh, integral uh, in, in integral sum. Uh, 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 Say sigma um, uh, n one moment it is i over n so the values go from minus one to plus one not it is to uh, 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 m minus uh, m n less than i less than m n. Uh, so m is another. So then a i from minus m to plus m. Yeah. Uh, uh, sigma i uh, sigma n equals sum. Uh, a i uh, and measure a i uh, uh, mu a i simply so and uh, uh, so here we leave uh, out of uh, our side the um, domain where uh, the function is, uh, its model is too large, uh, and then we consider limit sigma uh, and m uh, and m uh, when uh, n and m uh, go to infinity. Uh, and uh, 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 if uh, this limit exists, it is uh, called integral uh, f d mu. That's it. Uh, so this definition is uh, no equivalent if previously we had a little different definition, then it is equivalent, but it is. Uh, closest to the uh, Riemann uh, integral, definition of Riemann integral. Simply, instead of taking partition in x values, uh, in x axis, we take partition in y axis. Yeah? Uh, no, uh, okay. And uh, 
and now uh, uh, the function Uh, we have uh, the following uh, f minus g less than 1 over n uh, if uh, f x minus g x uh, if uh, uh, model f x less than m yeah so uh, this means that we uh, uh, approximated uh, up to 1 over n, yes, and we had uh, the following uh, theorem uh, previously uh, that uh, let us uh, denote, uh, uh, say, uh, AM capital, uh, no, M, it was uh, here, um, uh, B, M, equal set of x such as model f x more than m yeah uh, consider this set b m uh, and uh, uh, integral over b m model f d mu goes to zero if uh, the function f in L1. So if uh, integral of absolute value is finite, then uh, uh, integral over this uh, uh, set where the function is large goes to zero, no, which is more or less obvious. Uh, f in L1 uh, when uh, m uh, goes to infinity. I got this per se. So uh, this is, um, uh, this means that our approximation uh, by this function g uh, is a good approximation. Uh, uh, this means that uh, 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 norm uh, f minus g uh, 1 equals integral over uh, uh, b m uh, model f and uh, g is 0 there d mu g equals 0 in b m uh, uh, plus uh, less or equal uh, integral over uh, 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 x minus bm uh, model f minus g uh, d mu uh, equal uh, uh, it is less or equal uh, no uh, integral over bm uh, model f d mu uh, plus uh, 1 over n the difference between them is less than our uh, 1 over n times uh, measure of uh, x minus b m yeah no uh, uh, let us assume that the um, uh, measure of uh, the set uh, uh, or x uh, itself is finite then it's okay uh, so this means this goes to zero when m goes to infinity, uh, this uh, goes to zero because uh, this is uh, bounded and this is, uh, goes to zero when m goes to infinity. That's it. Uh, so um, this is when m uh, goes to infinity and this goes to zero when n goes to infinity. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. 
say in both cases we, we have uh, that the sum goes to zero, and this means that uh, this uh, function is uh, G uh, depending on M capital and N capital uh, provides approximation by simple functions. That's it. So it's the general theorem for arbitrary measure spaces. And now I wanted to consider a, a less obvious theorem. which uh, relates to the back measure on the line. So, uh, so consider x equals r or x equals 0, 1, it's also possible. Uh, 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 S uh, uh, consists of Lebesgue measurable set. So uh, remind that Lebesgue measurable is measurable union with some set of uh, outer uh, measure zero. And uh, 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 mu equals lambda Lebesgue measure. And uh, consider I. It is a segment AD, maybe or uh, uh, with or without endpoints. Uh, here, uh, uh, finite number of end uh, points does not matter because uh, it is a set of measure zero. And uh, chi i uh, of x, it is characteristic function. Uh, it is one if x in i and zero if x is not in. Yeah. So it is a characteristic function, uh, and uh, uh, the function is step function, is called step function, if fx equal some a i chi i i of x i from one to n. So I always consider step function with finite number of steps. Yeah. So it is a function uh, no uh, looking like this. Something like this. Yeah. Uh, so it has uh, several uh, uh, segments where it is constant, and uh, it is zero outside. Uh, all these uh, segments are uh, finite segments. Yeah, I don't consider half line or the whole line. Um, these segments uh, I uh, I uh, can be. Uh, uh, Overlapping can be overlapping or non-overlapping. Uh, it does not matter. So if uh, these two segments are overlapping, yes, it's one segment and this other segment. Then say some of their characteristic functions looks as follows. Uh, it is uh, here. It is two. Uh, here it is again one. So this is a characteristic function of uh, this system of uh, two segments. Yeah, uh, we can uh, always uh, subdivide it into smaller segments so that they uh, 
uh, may have only endpoints in common. Uh, of course, uh, it is mm, very, uh, it is uh, also possible. Um, Yeah, and now the theorem that uh, uh, any f in L1 of R can be approximation. that uh, uh, there exists a step function uh, uh, g of uh, x step function such that integral over r uh, modul f minus g uh, d lambda d lambda it is uh, integrating uh, with the uh, regard of Lebesgue measure is less than epsilon for given epsilon. Uh, so for any epsilon, uh, more or less uh, there exists uh, G of X such a, a step function such that this holds. No, first of all, uh, let's start proving it. If f in L1 of R, then uh, 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 for, uh, uh, say, uh, 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 C, uh, positive C, uh, integral from minus infinity to minus c f d lambda uh, plus modul f d lambda. Integral from c to infinity modul f d lambda uh, goes to zero when c uh, goes to infinity, obviously. So integral, uh, it should be convergent integral and uh, if you uh, uh, perform all uh, uh, the uh, uh, manipulation which are needed to find this integral uh, to make sure that this integral uh, converges. It means uh, uh, that uh, almost all of the mass is in the finite part of uh, our um, uh, real line. So we can, uh, first of all, uh, uh, cut off the function, uh, so uh, 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 defi redefine it by zero uh, far outside. So uh, 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 instead of f uh, x, uh, we consider f x the statistic function from say minus c to c, where c is uh, large enough. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, so that uh, equals fc of x, yes, and then norm f minus fc in L1 may be made arbitrarily uh, small. And uh, this means that we can consider the case of finite segment uh, and uh, forget about uh, infinity. And um, uh, uh, this uh, segment, uh, uh, after uh, some, uh, I would say, rescaling, can be uh, 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 
we made the say from zero to one. So x equals zero one from zero to one. So the this is the first thing. Second thing, uh, using what we uh, found before, we can find. Uh, 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 the first approximation uh, given epsilon uh, there exists a simple function h of x Such that norm uh, uh, f minus h in L1 less than epsilon. Uh, so we can uh, do uh, this. And so this means uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, the sets A uh, i. Uh, minus say n less than i less than uh, n such that uh, uh, a i uh, in a, a, a j uh, no uh, they can uh, have uh, not more than one pointed common may have uh, 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 just an end point in common and uh, a union of a i uh, i from minus n to n uh, equals uh, zero one. No, one of these a i is uh, the former uh, set where the function uh, uh, models of this function was very uh, large. So, uh, it, uh, and then uh, uh, simply uh, this function is zero there. But uh, this set is very small in measure, so uh, it is. Uh, 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 also, uh, it remains a good approximation in L2. Uh, so, good approximation in L2 doesn't mean that it is uh, the functions are close to one another at every point. It means that uh, they are close uh, in majority of points uh, and uh, uh, not very far uh, in. Um, on a small set, so that the difference, integral of absolute value difference is small. So we start from this uh, set AI. Now uh, we had uh, previously uh, the theorem uh, st stating the following, uh, that uh, if uh, a i is a uh, Lebesgue measurable uh, set. Uh, no, I mean a, it is Borel set plus set of uh, outer measure zero. Then. Uh, there exists an open set GI, uh, no, it was called FI, uh, which is containing set uh, uh, AI such that uh, no, you know what? I uh, have to apologize. Uh, 
AI is uh, 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 le, uh, 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 in uh, Lebesgue uh, sigma algebra. Yes, uh, this means that AI equals union of AI prime uh, and AI double prime. AI prime is Borel set, yeah, and the outer measure of uh, AI double prime is zero. Uh, so, uh, first of all, this thing. Second thing, uh, if the measure of this set is zero, we can neglect it. So, we can work as if uh, the uh, uh, only we set AI prime, and uh, the, any change of the function on this set is uh, uh, does not ch uh, change its uh, integral. Yes, because the set has measure zero. In the Borel set, uh, we had the theorem that uh, uh, there exists a uh, close uh, subset of Borel set such that uh, the mm, uh, uh, measure of uh, uh, Borel measure uh, or, or ex external measure of difference between uh, this uh, set uh, AI prime and uh, uh, the closed set, uh, which are uh, which we uh, uh, is a subset, uh, may be arbitrarily small. Yeah, uh, but the set uh, X minus AI prime uh, is also. Borel set. So we can find close subset uh, in the complement to AI prime. Yes. And uh, the complement to this closed subset is open subset, which is containing AI prime. So uh, there exists an open set. Uh, F i uh, containing a i prime, uh, yes, such that the outer measure of F i minus a i prime is less than given epsilon. When I write epsilon, no, mostly it means that uh, somewhere here should be written for any epsilon uh, uh, holds this. Uh, there is an open subset uh, like this. Now, uh, now let's forget about these primes uh, because uh, we can uh, consider just Borel sets uh, because these. Uh, 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 non Borelian but uh, having measure zero sets. No, okay, uh, they have measure zero, so they can be neglected anyway. So uh, let me, uh, uh, for simplicity, forget about these primes. In fact, I don't know any situation where uh, these. Uh, uh, difference between Borel and Lebesgue sets uh, is uh, significant. I think in some more special uh, questions. Yeah, so again, we have uh, uh, Fi containing uh, Ai. Yeah, uh, this sets and the outer measure between Fi minus a i uh, less than uh, some small number epsilon. Now uh, we uh, uh, want to do uh, the following. We are on the line, uh, no, on, on the segment 0, 1. Yes, so the open set is a, a union of um, not more than countable number of uh, uh, intervals. Yes, so open set uh, 
uh, Fi equals uh, union, uh, sorry, uh, uh, A, uh, I, K, B, I, K. So it is interval, uh, open interval with uh, 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 endpoints A, I, K, and B, I, K. No, K, I is fixed, K is uh, uh, K from one to uh, M I, something like this, yeah. Uh, so we uh, uh, find this and uh, 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 no uh, uh, to infinity. I'm sorry. Yes, and they uh, do not intersect with one another. So this is the structure of any uh, open set. And now we can uh, again. Uh, cut it and uh, define uh, gi equal uh, union of a i k b i k uh, from uh, one to m k uh, some uh, sufficiently large m k such that um, uh, 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 f I uh, G, uh, minus G I, so uh, the uh, total uh, mass of uh, remaining uh, this small interval also small, less than epsilon. Yeah. So uh, we uh, 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 and now. That's it. And now consider instead of uh, open interval, uh, now we found them, uh, consider a closed interval I, I K equals uh, from A I K B I K. Yeah. And uh, uh, we can do it. And then, uh, uh, so we have uh, two indices, i and k. And, uh, and uh, these intervals for different i uh, uh, pairs, i, k, uh, do not in, uh, over intersect. Yes? And uh, uh, what is uh, important uh, that uh, this uh, set uh, uh, GI is uh, approximation of the set AI, yes? Because FI uh, approximate AI from above, it is a little larger set. Uh, GI is a set which is a little smaller than FI, yes? And all in all, uh, the... Um, uh, uh, what I uh, will uh, define uh, set uh, 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 A I uh, symmetric difference uh, G I equals uh, A I minus G I uh, union uh, G I minus a i yeah uh, so uh, let me draw the diagram uh, so this is this a i uh, this set this set is uh, g i and uh, 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 this is uh, this dense uh, uh, domain, uh, no, oh, one moment, uh, let me do it this way. So uh, this uh, light domain is uh, corresponds to a i, uh, my uh, symmetric difference with g i. It is uh, a useful notion, useful notation. And uh, 
so our approximation is the following. Uh, uh, the function uh, g of x equal some uh, a i. You remember that we started from a capital I, where the function was between a small i and a small i plus 1. So I write a i, then characteristic function uh, g i i from 1 to n. Uh, so this is uh, our uh, uh, I know uh, uh, minus n to n so that we have symmetry. The function can be both positive and negative. Yes. So uh, this is the construction. No uh, details uh, uh, of uh, this uh, 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 estimates how we to estimate step by step and so on. It is, uh, you can read it in the book, but uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you the idea. Now, next is uh, uh, approximation by continuous function. So uh, it is further approximation. Okay, I erase, but you are able to uh, scroll back and uh, uh, stop it uh, so you can uh, see, read, and copy everything uh, which appeared here. It is some advantage of uh, such uh, uh, online lectures. So, uh, uh, approximation in uh, L1 by uh, L1 of R uh, by a uh, continuous function. Uh, uh, it is uh, the following theorem. Uh, sub, uh, theorem. Uh, 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 F in L1 of R. Yeah? Then for any epsilon, there exists a continuous. function h of x such that norm f minus h one less than epsilon. So uh, not only uh, uh, simple function, not only a step function, but also we, now we are at continuous function. No, uh, it is uh, easier than the previous uh, steps because uh, the following is true. Uh, uh, there exists a, a step function. Uh, uh, it is H, uh, G of X is sum. A I uh, chi I I uh, of X uh, one to N uh, 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 no uh, for the same A I we can have several uh, several uh, uh, in the segments where this function is a i, yes, uh, the function uh, uh, can uh, have yes, uh, and this means uh, that uh, the number of uh, intervals uh, i i uh, can be uh, different from uh, the uh, number of the uh, levels of the function. Uh, 
uh, it can be uh, larger or smaller, I don't know. Uh, no, uh, okay, anyway, this is uh, the general form of a uh, uh, step function, yeah? And now uh, uh, let us um, do the following thing, which I uh, will draw on the picture. It is I. One step of the function is a characteristic set, uh, characteristic function of a segment uh, I. And instead of this, we uh, consider uh, Function. Oh, yeah. I'll take a colored uh, pen. Did I find it? No, I cannot find it. So let me do the following. Uh, I uh, take. Uh, a smooth function, yeah? So uh, uh, here we had, uh, this is a, a step function, yeah? And uh, this is a step function, and here it is the smooth step function. Now it's clear that we can, uh, no, for example, we can, uh, draw here a straight segment, but it is not vertical, but a, a little inclined. Then uh, we have a, a continuous function, uh, which is arbitrarily close to original uh, step function, uh, the, or characteristic function of segment, uh, arbitrarily close to it in uh, L1, yeah? No, we, uh, let us call it, uh, it is, uh, uh, function uh, uh, which we we'll, uh, call uh, okay. Uh, just I think this picture is enough. Now, if you uh, perform this operation, which with each uh, characteristic function of each of these segments, we have a finite uh, number of these steps. Then uh, we uh, get a continuous function, it, we can even assume that it is uh, smooth, has uh, derivatives uh, in classical sense, uh, arbitrary number of derivatives uh, if we need it for some uh, purposes, uh, yes, and uh, uh, taking uh, uh, the closer and closer approximation of each uh, um, uh, such a characteristic function here, we have closer and closer approximation of f. So uh, I think it is enough uh, with uh, this theorem. And uh, 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 it was a part uh, devoted to approximation by uh, different sorts of function in L1. Uh, next uh, part will be uh, further uh, why we need it. Uh, I will uh, start from uh, motivation, next uh, part. So now let me finish and uh, say you goodbye for a short time. Bye.